so next we are going to see about uh, how the path delay is computed okay so here they mentioned uh, two things one is uh, cell delay second one is net delay okay cell delay you know the component uh, component delay so if you look at this diagram here we have one not gate and gate and one flop right so these are all the cells we can say these are all uh, cells okay so between these two cells we are having connection right this connection is made up of some wires so this is called net delay so how path uh, delay is computed means simply add up all uh, cell and net delays rising edge on input of path and repeat the following edge on the path input okay, okay next uh, uh, the definition for uh, uh, path delay segment okay so we know that uh, in a circuit we will have uh, so many elements and so many paths right but what it uh, what is a path delay segment means if you consider the same uh, diagram what we have seen in previous slide same diagram here segment means one uh, cell plus one net okay that's what uh, they are defining here a path delay segment is a cell plus net segment of a sta path so d total delay total is equal to uh, delay produced by cell plus delay produced by net this is called path segment so good now we have to calculate the maximum frequency of this design okay next this is a timing diagram for uh, this circuit okay so this is our clock clock period width is uh, uh, represented as uh, tw okay tw here uh, this is the output okay so from uh, this capacity edge of the clock to this this rising edge of uh, q the delay between these two is nothing but the propagation delay of flip flop okay here we have considered positive edge triggered uh, d flop okay so next uh, uh here what they are trying to show means the gap between this uh, propagation delay to setup time of next next clock getting okay leave that one i will explain in uh, easy way so this is a positive edge uh, this is a positive edge triggered flip flop so we have to consider setup and hold window right as i explained earlier uh, uh, this is the window this is that window uh our input must be stable during this interval right that is called setup time and second after the occurrence of the active edge active edge our input must be stable for some time that is called hold time so this is the entire window right window and the second parameter is uh, propagation delay produced by this flip flop so that is the delay from here to here this arrow mark then that is nothing but clock to queue delay yaar setup to wait from where to where ah uh, i am telling from here to here then here uh, this is what uh? this is propagation delay no 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 where uh, where is one more arrow mark that is included in the setup time arrow no no this is the propagation delay propagation delay is na the propagation delay of flip flop is na what uh? clock to queue delay right clock to queue delay so uh, this clock uh, this flip flop will work uh, with respect to positive edge positive edge transition of the clock right so uh, here it is getting the positive edge from here to how much time it will take to produce that output this is the output queue can you draw the input signal for this also input signal input signal yeah. it should be like this if your input is like this means flip flop will produce the output like this it has satisfied here also we left the setup and hold window so uh, your input uh, will satisfy that uh, window okay, so, so that, that you are getting the stable output yeah 
Let's see. Next to class six. Yeah, this is uh, this one. Ah, uh, what input you want? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, that's what uh, I'm asking you. Whether zero or one. Here uh, we, uh, we don't know what output we are going to get. No? Use my gear. Where where I am telling the second cycle output is high. Where where it is uh, where it is shown. This output is because of this input here. Okay, this output is because of this input. Okay, so we don't know what we're going to have here. If the output is like this, that means what? Here we applied zero. Uh, Uh, can you explain it once again? Just look, the input signal, okay? Uh, it's coming somewhat late in the output signal. Huh? It is just because of the delay of flip-flop. Otherwise, it would have come at this very same instant when RD is applied. Yeah, that is what we are going to discuss here. Okay, that is a simple waste. So, if you are minimizing that gap, automatically your time period will get reduced. Ultimately, it will increase the frequency. That is what we are going to discuss. Okay, now see the next step. So, okay, so we are uh, moving further towards this gap. Now, again. Now, again. Okay. 